Hi everyone. Hi Hai Xian. Welcome to Tech Talk. Welcome to the Tech Talk fourth workshop. But today, before we jump into the workshop, I want to share with you some of the background knowledge. How does this workshop come about? Meaning to say, why is all this workshop being planned for you? The Tech Talk is not just a normal assembly workshop. It's a program specially designed by the teachers to raise your ICT skill set. Why ICT skill set? Why not other skill set? It's all because of this one big idea. I'm sure that a few months back during CB, you saw the news that all the school have to come on board the one is to one program. Which means to say by next year 2021, all of you, every one of you will either have, all of us will either have a Chromebook, laptop or an iPad. So how do we get there? As a school, to move in this right direction, we have three big moves and that is the move to raise our student readiness. Also the move to develop our teacher's competency and also the move to form the right partnership with your parents. So now you know that one of the big moves is your readiness. Are you ready for the one is to one program? The school think that as a school, we need to have some workshop so that we can raise your readiness to a certain level. And that is, that is why we plan for this 11 workshop. Starting from this June, the first one, all the way to next year, July, we have all these 11 workshop to raise your readiness by teaching you the required or important ICT skill set. So you now know about the background knowledge. Why is there this series of workshop plan for you? So now let's come back to our workshop. How many workshop have you, have you been through? Three, the one in June, July and August. And what is the skill set being taught to you? The first one is using Microsoft Lens to convert image to PDF, which the school thinks is important. The second one is password management and also how do you sell reset your SLS password? And the latest one in August is the video editing. So these are the three workshops that you have you have been taught. But most important of all, please know that whatever resources or instructional video that you have that we have shown you in the workshop, all these can be made available in our Haising YouTube. In our Haising YouTube, there is a section called Tech Talk whereby all the instructional video is already uploaded there. So for some reason, if you want to recall some of the things that you have forgotten, please go to this website and retrieve the instructional video. The next that I want to touch on is the Queasy. We have incorporate some quizzy to stir some assignment and you have seen completed two quizzy first in the first and the third workshop they are quizzy that you have that uh, you have you have tried completed we are not there yet we are just 50 percent near uh, going to the finishing point so it's good to let you know that once you're at the finishing point there's one grand prize only one grand prize and that is the top ranking class all the student in that class will have a wireless mouse including the form teachers also beside the grand ch champion uh, prize we also want to introduce a bonus point which means that in this and next year 
crazy, the last two crazy, which is the September now and the October next month crazy. The class that make the most improvement will have a five mark, five positive mark bonus point. That means to say this class, when you go to next year, when we when we restart the crazy, they will have these five points ahead of all the classes. So this is the 11 standing. Please take a couple of uh, maybe 10, 15 seconds to see where are you now. Currently 2E4 is first, they have 10,000 and 10 points. For those not in the ranking here, I can assure you, you're very close to the 8,000 point. So bear in mind, you got two more rounds. The one today and the one more in October. You can still catch up. So now, with that, we will go to workshop 4. And before I start this, I just want to uh, make sure that you have take out your pen and paper because whatever they are going to ask in the quiz, if you are attentive, all the answers will appear in the two instructional video later on. So please be, uh, be prepared. Today's topic will be about image formatting. For some very simple reason, in the CB, there are students that have problem uploading the images because the images is of the wrong format or acid certain sizes. So today you will get to learn imaging, image formatting in two aspects. First is how do you change the format to JPEG and also how do you downsize to a appropriate sizing that you can upload to SLS or using handphone apps. So this is what you're going to learn today. And the presenter will be Mr. Ng and then also Mr. Yusuf. These are the two presenters that are going to present to you how do you change the image format to JPEG and also how do you do the downsizing. So without further ado, I will now hand over to the first presenter, Mr. Ng. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Ng. As mentioned earlier by Mr. Teo, some of you had problems uploading files onto SLS due to wrong file extension formats. This part, I will be going through the steps to change your device settings so you can upload files onto SLS successfully. This picture is an overview of the compatible formats accepted on SLS. The information is important not just for SLS, but all the websites that you will be doing file submissions in the future. Whenever you face problems uploading files online, first thing to check is that the website compatible file formats and your file formats matches. As you can see, the format for pictures are JPG, JPEG, GIF, PNG, and SVG. The first four are commonly used formats. Do know that JPG and JPEG are two different formats. SVG is not commonly used, so we will skip this part. And for pictures, the file size is 2 megabytes. For videos, the compatible formats are MP4, M4V, OGV, AVI, and MOV. The more common ones are MP4, AVI, and MOV. M4V are usually used in Apple iTunes and the maximum file size for videos is 500 megabytes. Sometimes the format and file size are not compatible plus you face problems uploading. So are your files in the right format for submission? Apple products have their own file extensions format. And sometimes these formats are not compatible with the website you are using. Should you face such problems in your Apple device, you may want to check your settings first. I will be going through the steps for you to follow. Your teacher will pause the video from time to time for you to try where to locate the settings. 
So for iPhones, go to settings, select camera application. Within the camera settings, look for format. The format used in high efficiency may not always be compatible. So we need to check. Again, understanding the functions in your device is important. So you know what to do when you're faced with problems like this in the future. Some of you may prefer to access SLS using your laptop or computer. So if you are using these devices with Apple device, you may need to check that the formats are compatible as well. So again, you need to go to settings, select photos, scroll down and look for transfer to Mac or PC. Select automatic. Automatic will switch to the common file extensions while keep original will transfer the same file in its existing format. Teachers, please pause the video here to allow your students to try out the settings. What if you are Android users? Android uses MP4 for videos and JPG for photos as default, so you need not change the formats for Android devices. Currently, there are only two systems used in smartphones, so if you are not using iPhones, you should be using Android. So let's say you change all that you need but still cannot upload because of large file size problems. Fret not. I'm going to help you with that. iOS does not allow you to reduce file size in a phone, so you will need external applications to reduce the size. This will be covered by Mr. Yusuf in a while. For Android users, you can change the camera setting in your phone to reduce file size. Do note that Android is high, highly customizable and the interface varies. So I can only provide generic steps. You will need to locate the actual settings in your phone. So here are the steps to take to reduce the file size for Android phones. First, open the camera app. This is the app where you take pictures, not via settings like that in iPhones. Click on the settings within the camera app itself. Look for resolution, photo size, aspect ratios options in the menu. Here are some examples where you should change the resolution. Again, the interface differs from phone to phone. You will need to locate the settings on your own. After you locate the menu, choose a smaller resolution. This will capture a smaller size photos so it will make it be easier for you to upload onto SLS. Teacher, please pause the video here for students to try. Next, we will talk about using external applications to reduce file size or to change format. Good morning, hi students. This is Mr. Yusuf speaking. Welcome to Tech Talk 4. Today, we are introducing an app called Adobe Photoshop Express Photo Editor Collage Maker. The objectives of this segment is to convert picture into JPEG format, compress picture, email it to yourself so that it can be downloaded and submitted via SLS. For the Android system, First, go to the Play Store and search Adobe Photoshop Express. Next, log in with Google account 
Facebook account or Adobe ID. Next, select picture of assignment from all photos. Next, select crop function from the bottom middle of the screen. Once you have cropped out what you want to submit, then click export at the top right hand of the screen. Next, click three dots for more options. Next, select JPEG quality. If options of JPEG or PNG are given, select JPEG. Next, select medium, then click done. Next, click three dots for more options. Next, select image resize. Next, select length times 800 px. In this case, 800 times 800 px. The length will depend on the dimensions of the original picture. If 800 pixel height is too tall, select custom, then adjust the height and width accordingly with the slider. The aspect ratio is locked. Next, select Gmail. Finally, send the editor picture to yourself, label the picture with the subject. For the iOS system or the Apple system, first go to the App Store, search for Adobe Photoshop Express. Next, log in with Google account, Facebook account, Adobe ID or Apple ID. Next, select picture of assignment from recent. Next, select crop function from the bottom middle of the screen. Once you have cropped out what you want to submit, then click export at the top right hand of the screen. Next, click three dots for more options. Next, select image resize. Keep save as copy enabled to retain original image. JPEG quality is locked at very high 85%. Next, select length times 800px. 
in this case 529 by 800 px. The length will depend on the dimensions of the original picture. If 800 pixel height is too tall, select custom, then adjust the height and width accordingly with the slider. The aspect ratio is locked. Next, select email to email the picture to yourself. Finally, send the edited picture to yourself, label the picture with the subject.